Hey fam, it's Major TV News. I have some breaking news for you. I'm the Cali Grio, and you know I've been talking to you guys about the threat, the domestic terroristic threats. Well, there's been another incident in D.C., so I wanted to let you guys know about it. A man from California was found with a truck with machetes and whatnot in it. Now, you know that this rally is going to be September the 16th. Now, you know that this congressman in that wheelchair, the man that, uh, that uh, had gotten elected, and he also had that rifle. I forget his name right now. I'm just trying to, trying to refresh y'all's memory, too. He's talking about going to this D.C. So, it was, it was that type of crowd. Now, about two weeks ago, a military man, Stuart, Stuart, uh, uh, he's in, he was in the Marines, and he resigned because he wanted them to be accountable for what happened in Afghanistan. So he said to the to the to the military that he was ahead of them. And he said it needed to be a revolution. They've been talking some, some real heat. They've been talking some real heat. So keep your eyes open. Keep your head on a swivel. And I'm going to give you this news right now. Y'all ready? Because you know I got it. Here we go. Breaking news. Basically, uh, I'm going to bring in Leon Caldwell here. The chief of the U.S. Capitol Police calls this good police work, Leon. This is the first we're hearing about this. We just show, can I bring up that map one more time to my control room here? Because, Leanne, just to give people some perspective, the DNC and RNC headquarters are not far from the Capitol, right? The, the RNC is a little bit closer, but they're just to the south of those house office buildings. That's what you see in between the Capitol and RNC headquarters are those, are those buildings where members of the House of Representatives have their offices. Leanne, tell us more about what we know about this arrest um, and about what happened here. Yeah, Holly, this just came in moments ago. 44-year-old Donald Craighead of Oceanside, California, was arrested for possession of prohibited weapons. As you mentioned, he had a bayonet in his car, in his truck, I should say, and a machete. Uh, like you also said, he was pulled over after Capitol Police spotted something suspicious, which was his truck, which didn't have a license plate, and instead had a picture of the American flag. Now, Capitol Police are on extremely high alert right, right now as we gear in to this rally on Saturday, the Justice for J6 rally. And so there's a lot of Capitol Police who are on duty. No one is taking leave right now. And so they are taking every single threat extremely seriously. And I will say that these one-off threats by people who, whatever their intention is uh, to do harm or not, are some of the biggest concerns of the rank-and-file Capitol Police that I talked to. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, you had a standoff with Capitol Police where, where a man said that he had explosives in his car. That was several hours hours of negotiations with this man who ended up not having explosives. And then, right. of course, on Good Friday, there was the man who drove his car into the Capitol Police uh, barrier outside of the Capitol. So these are increasing threats. So not only are they dealing with these rallies that, uh, that come sporadically, including the one on Saturday, but they're also dealing with these one-off threats as well, Holly. She note a couple of things here, right, Leanne, that according to U.S. Capitol Police, this man who was arrested was talking about being, quote unquote, on patrol when officers had approached him, again, with knives in his truck, with that bayonet, with the machete, um, by the way, no, not legal in Washington, D.C. You cannot have those mm -hmm. things here in the district, um, and, and was espousing, apparently, white supremacy ideology, white supremacist ideology to these Capitol Police officers, and importantly, Leanne, Capitol Police are telling us that it's not clear right now if he was planning to attend any upcoming demonstrations, i.e. the demonstration that you're talking about on Saturday. Well, there it is, family. 